The Chinese government publicly revealed their intention to pretty much take over the global labor market. They said this about two months ago. And for some bizarre reason, the Western world just kind of went, uh, shut our ears, shut our ears. We're not going to listen to this. Here's the thing. I mean, China's very serious about this and they're pouring billions of dollars into this. Chinese, the Chinese government is literally giving these companies huge amounts of money to develop robots that will take your job, essentially. And make no mistake, they very much will. This is China's latest robot. It's called the S1. It's human-like, it's fast, it's precise, and it is much better at doing a lot of things than you and I are. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. The world is unquestionably becoming digital and humans are being replaced with things like chatbots and even robots. I mean, BYD and Neo already use robots in their production line. Now, they don't look like this, they look a little different, but this robot is capable of executing movements at a maximum speed of 10 meters per second, and it can manage a payload of 22 pounds per arm. And it doesn't complain, it turns up to work every day, uh, it can actually work 24 hours a day, apparently. Anyway, the era of humanoid robots is coming. It's here. Tesla is taking uh, investment in their robot very seriously. They believe it's a race to who can actually create human-like robots the fastest. In China, companies are training new models and developing them at incredible speeds. Another Chinese firm making advanced strides is called Astribot. This Shenzhen-based subsidiary of Stardust Intelligence is a robotics firm focused on developing AI robots. In a video released by the firm, its humanoid S1 is doing household tasks, a little bit like a Tesla bot, at an unprecedented pace, much faster than what a human would do them. This marks a significant advancement for robotics worldwide. The firm claims that 50, that the S1 robot can perform movements with a top speed of 10 meters per second and handle payloads on each arm of 22 pounds or 10 kilograms per arm. Now, personally, I think you and I, we can handle a lot more than 10 kilograms per arm. I mean, for example, I probably dumbbell lift 20 kilos per arm, but I can only do that for a short period of time. This thing can do 10 kilograms per arm over and over and over and over and over and over. And over. I mean, I would be tired after, you know, probably an hour of this. This robot can just keep doing it all day. Astribot's parent company, Stardust Intelligence, was founded by a guy, a guy named Lai Ji. He also worked with Tencent Robotics Laboratory, Beidou, and Hong Kong Polytechnic University. And Ji has carried forward his experience of leading the development of Tencent's wheel-legged robot called Ollie and many other types of robots. He's taken all that experience and used it to create this new robot. He claims that the name Astribot comes from the ancient Latin proverb called Ad Astra Per Aspera, which means a journey through hardship to reach stardust. This represents the company's long-term plan and its commitment to the development and popularization of artificial intelligence robot technology. Now, he thinks that you want to have one of these robots in your house. That's his plan. You'll have one of these in your house, and this is what Tesla's plan is as well, and it will do everything for you, right? You won't need to wash the dishes or make food, all those sorts of things this robot will do for you. Astrobot's website says it started operation in 2022, and it took only a single year to develop its first humanoid robot called the S1. The company claims that S1 is an advanced product closest to human operating performance, but the S2 is at a, going to be at an entirely different level. And the reason the S1 is amazing is it can imitate a human being or can imitate anything. Utilizing imitation learning, the S1 robot can execute a myriad of intricate tasks that are beneficial to humans, mirroring the operational speed and adaptability of adults. Astribot claims that the S1 is currently undergoing rigorous testing with large models and is slated for commercial release this year. Astribot has refrained, though, from sharing any technical information regarding the robot and the steps used in its training and evolution. Is it using neural networks to train it? No one knows. It's not clear if the S1 has any independent locomotion abilities or whether it is intended to be a countertop humanoid offering only. The video shows the speed of the S1, which is, well, 
It's incredible. It's definitely faster than the Tesla bot. Is it as intelligent potentially as the Tesla bot? Don't know. The pace is quick enough though to smoothly pull the tablecloth from beneath a stack of wine glasses without causing them to fall over. Now I can't do that personally. I don't know if you can. Uh, in fact, I'd never tried, but I don't imagine I'd be able to. But it's quite impressive to see it do that. The robot exhibits insane speed and remarkable precision, seamlessly executing tasks such as opening and pouring wine, delicately shaving a cucumber, flipping a sandwich in a frying pan, and executing intricate calligraphy. Furthermore, the video shows the bot's proficiency in mimicking human movements, says Interesting Engineering, indicating its potential as a proficient learner. If it can mimic what you do or say, it can potentially do a huge amount of things and learn an incredible amount of things. In recent weeks, the robotics landscape has witnessed a huge surge of innovation. The evolution of AI and large language models is helping robotics firms advance the training and development of their products. OpenAI unveiled two remarkable creations. The first, a laundry folding robot developed in a partnership with Norwegian collaborators 1X, which showcases exceptional soft touch capabilities. Another association resulted in an advanced robot from the collaborators figure, which exhibits groundbreaking natural language reasoning skills. Following suit, Hyundai owned Boston Dynamics took the game forward with its remarkable dexterity showcased by this latest Atlas robot, which will be used in Hyundai's car manufacturing production lines. Meanwhile, UB Tech from China impressed the world with the introduction of the Walker S, a speaking bot renowned for its gentle touch. A little bit like Tesla's bot, which is also very dexterous and able to do things with its hands that some other bots can't yet do. These breakthroughs are just a fraction of the huge number of achievements and advancements in humanoid robotics over the past 12 months. What does the future hold for robots? Well, here's the thing. Uh, there's nothing we can do. They will take the majority of human jobs. Elon Musk has said it. I believe it's very obvious that this is inevitable. The question isn't, will it happen? The question is when? Now, when do you think that this will begin happening? When will you know robots en masse take humans' jobs? I believe it will happen within the next 10 years, absolutely, without question. But it could happen much, much faster. Thanks for watching.